Hey everybody, welcome to Podcastage. My name's Bandrew and I'm back with another gaming headset test review video for you guys. So today I'm testing out the Each G2000 3.5 millimeter gaming headset as requested by one of our viewers, Cobra Gaming. By the way, thank you for the request. If anybody else out there has requests for microphones or headsets they'd like me to test out, leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get to them eventually. I'm just really backed up. I have about 10 more requests that I have to get through before I can start taking new ones, but leave them in the comments and I'll get to them eventually. So this gaming headset runs about 20 to 25 bucks on Amazon and I'll throw a link in the video description if you're interested. Um, and today we're really gonna test them out. As you can see, this headset is massive. The, the head Headphones are very bulky, uh, the construction is plastic so they feel relatively cheap. They do have nice foam pieces in the ears so you shouldn't have any problems with them being uncomfortable. I don't know how well that's constructed, I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, they also have a foam inlay at the, the top of the headband which m keeps it comfortable. This headset does come with a braided cable which I do like, it just makes me feel like I have a high quality headset even if it's only 22 bucks on Amazon. It also does have a remote in the cable which allows you to mute the microphone with this little switch right here and then it also allows you to adjust your uh, headphone volume. This headset it has three cables coming out of it. There are two 3.5 millimeter, one is a microphone input, one is a headphone output, and then the third cable is a USB cable, and I have no idea what this thing does. The way that I have this set up is I have the Sabrent USB audio adapter, and I plug the, the microphone input into one and the headphone output into the other, and I don't even have to plug this in to have it work. And when I do plug this in, it doesn't even recognize it on my computer, so I have no idea what it's there for. So yeah, if you're getting this headset, make sure you have a microphone input and a headphone output jack relatively close to each other because you'll have about six inches or so, maybe eight inches on the back of your computer or on the front. So just make sure you have that. If not, six bucks to get this. The ports are right next to each other, so that's a good option. The drivers inside the headphones are 55 millimeters, which seem pretty big to me. I don't know, really know. I didn't do any comparisons there, but I don't really think that's necessarily an important factor. Also, I should note that the headphones don't necessarily fit that snugly, and you can still hear everything that's going on in the room around you. So if you're going to be playing in a noisy environment, like at a, a gaming cafe, is that a thing? A gaming cafe? <laughs> I just made that up. If you go to this place that I just made up and it's really loud in there because a bunch of people are there gaming, uh, this is probably not going to work out for you because you're going to be able to hear them and you won't be able to hear what's going on in your uh, on your game. So I found a really cool website called audiocheck.net. What this site does is it provides two audio samples. They are both sine wave sweeps of certain frequencies. One is from 10 hertz to 200 hertz. That's the low end. And the other one is 20 kilohertz down down to 8 kilohertz. So it really allows you to test what the, the frequency response of your headphones drivers are. So when I was testing it out on the low frequencies, I started to hear sound around 25 to 30 hertz, which is pretty good. And then in the high end, I started to hear just below 20 kilohertz. The frequency response that they give on the Amazon site is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So it's pretty darn close to that. Nothing that raises any red flags. Lastly, I think the microphone sounds pretty dang good for a $22 headset. I mean, I really really can't complain for 22 bucks. So when I got these in the mail, they came in this. This is all it came with. It did not have a spec sheet. It did not come in a box. It just came in a bubble wrap sheet. So once again, the Amazon site said the microphone is an omnidirectional microphone. So if you are going to be in a loud environment, that won't be the best option. But let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see how well it picks me up when I'm just spinning the headphones around in different directions. Is it really omnidirectional or was that a typo? That just seems strange to me that, that a gaming headset's microphone is omnidirectional. I've always seen unidirectional, but who knows? Maybe it is. So yeah, I guess that'll do it. If you all have any more questions about this headset, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I will get to them as soon as possible and if you all leave enough questions I'll go ahead and, and answer all of them in the next Q&A video. If you guys found the video helpful or you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked give me a thumbs down and if you want more of these videos click subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner and I will see you all next Tuesday or Friday. This Friday probably. I'll see you Friday. All right guys thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Oh, that's so much fun. Why is that? Why is that so just, oh, that feels so good. Ah, oh, I love it.
I feel like there should be some sort of fetish club where the dance floor is just bubble wrap. <laughs> I would frequent the heck out of that place. 